after a busy day, it's good to disentangle yourself. Any thoughts that come up about things you need to do for the time being, just put them aside. We complain about entanglements outside, but the real entanglements are inside. The ideas that come out and say, I'd like to do this, I'd like to do that, and then the conversations that go on inside. And some of the things are useful, and this is how we get by in the world, how we survive in the world. But a lot of them are just excess entanglements, and we have this habit of being able to connect one to the next, to the next, to the next, and become really entangled. I noticed with John Fuhrman, one of his skills was how to teach people what they needed to know and then just leave it at that and not stitch things any further along. You know, some people didn't like that. They wanted the stitching along, but the ones who really meditated, the ones who really had a sense of what was valuable in life, were glad to have the instruction and then glad to be left to do the work themselves and come back for advice whenever necessary. But it wasn't all about entanglement. The whole purpose of the teaching is to free you. And so find what you need that will lead to your freedom and work on that. And you find that the freeing that needs to be done, of course, is freeing from your own entanglements inside. Outside entanglements basically come from the inside ones. And so look at the tangle inside and see how you can untangle it. One of the ways is just learning how to cut through any thought that comes up. This is an important skill you need to develop just to stay with the breath. And you'll find that it has useful applications all over the place. You find yourself in a conversation, you find yourself in an inner conversation that's taking you nowhere. You have every right to just drop it and leave. Remember that. You don't have to tie things up. You don't have to be afraid of lo leaving loose ends, because that's in the effort of tying up the loose ends that we got further entangled. So any thoughts that come up by meditating right here, just cut them off, cut them off. You don't have to get involved with any of them, no matter how great they say they are, no matter how important. The mind needs its time to be by itself. It needs its time to appreciate what it's like to just be by itself, be aware. The mind be the slave to all these entanglements that keep welling up from within. So even though it seems like the world outside just has lots of traps laid for you, well, the traps are there for the mind that likes to get entangled. If you develop the habit of getting disentangled, then there are no traps outside at all. <laughs>